G'day guys, how are you? I'm Isky and welcome to my YouTube video. And check this out. <laughs> we have ourselves uh, the very first um, uh, dryer that's been completely submerged in a flood. I just got given this dryer. I got a really nice couple came and bought a dryer off me. It was a, a one of the very new style Electrolux six kilogram dryers. Uh, the next, the next one up from this one here. <laughs> That's my six million dollar dryer. Remember my Steve Austin dryer I made like six months ago? <laughs> I've still got it. I'm still waiting for someone worthy to give it to. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep going. So this was in this just recently. You know, a great portion of Australia has gone underwater. Thousands and thousands of houses were submerged and uh, this dryer was completely submerged. The guys had a two-story house and they said that didn't get into the you know the top story of their house but everything down below including this dryer was completely submerged and you can see it's it's pretty gross. There's sit, silt and dirt and crap, there's water all over it. What does this say? I am the one who knocks. I am a human rights defender, Amnesty International. So these guys were bloody legends. And they were, they were such nice people. They came out, you know, very cool. Anyway, let's have a look. So this is pretty bad. I mean, when I was walking this down from the car, through my gate up there, down that path, it was sloshing. So there's some water still in there. Hate to see what it looks like inside. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty gross. If we have a look behind. Oh man, I mean look, these screws, they've already started rusting. This has only been like this for a few days. Uh, they've cut the cable, they've cut, cut the power cord. Yep, it looks like it's been underwater. So, anyway, let's put this back. So listen guys, if this has happened to you and you're <laughs> watching this video hoping, you know, you can fix your dryer, well, listen, you can't. I mean, anything that's electrical, if it's been underwater, you may as well just pitch it. It's, I mean, I'm gonna fix this because I have the parts. <laughs> and it's a, it's a big job. I mean, I'll probably do it in less than an hour. But look at this, everything in this dryer is toast. I mean, you need to replace the timer mechanism. That thing there, that needs to be replaced. You need to replace the motor. You need to replace the heating element. You have to replace the door switch. And you're probably best off replacing the entire wiring harness while you're at it, you know? So it's really not worth <laughs> going to the trouble. You could probably pull a couple of parts off it. Um, if you are thinking about getting the same dryer in the future, at least you'll have some spare parts like the belt and the idler. Um, yeah, not too many parts. But anyway, anyway, and maybe even the, um, the filter. In fact, let's have a look. Let's check out this filter. I'm scared to pull this out. Oh, gross. Ew, yes. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be interesting. So what are we gonna do? Well, for a start, I'm gonna open this up, have a quick look around. We're gonna time-lapse most of this, by the way. I'll bring you back in key parts of it. But if you have a look over here, you can see here, I have got a bunch of brand new parts. Well, not, they're not brand new, they're just used parts from other dryers. But um, listen, that's what I call the inner shroud, this big bit here. This actually has a brand new cap uh, cap motor capacitor already installed. It's got a you know really nice looking motor on it. The fan inside is probably good, although I will open that up and double check the fan is good. Um, good idler. I mean, this part here is just ready to be put straight into this machine. Now, the thing is, the you know the actual shroud, that big plastic part, is probably good in this machine. Um, although I just couldn't be bothered washing it out and all of that kind of stuff in front of you guys. So what I'm going to do is pull the guts of this machine out, just put new parts in. Hopefully we can reuse the bowl in there. I'm pretty sure we should be able to. They do say they're stainless, but I don't think they are. I mean, that one in there for a start is white, so it's powder coated or something. I'm hoping the bearing is gonna be good. We'll give that a good spray with some WD-40. We'll definitely be test washing, uh, test drying this a bunch of times after I've done it. Uh, we'll see how we go, I reckon. See what we have to replace. I've also got, apart from, you know, this inner shroud, the motor, the capacitor, I also have a, um, a heating element. We've got this heating element here. We will put a new heating element in. I also have a timer. So this is, you know, 
a manual timer. In fact, all of this stuff is already attached to the wiring harness. So I'm just going to pull the wiring, well, I'm actually just going to put this wiring harness here on this inner shroud here because it actually doesn't have one. So that's going to be quite easy. I'm just going to, yeah, put this here on there, call it a day. And the cool part is we also have the power cord attached to this wiring harness. So yeah, everything's going to be new. Everything is going to be brand new. Um, but apart from the door, we'll end up reusing this plastic interface and the knob, this, you know, timer knob and basically the shell. That's, that's what we really want. Um, I'm sick of getting these things and they've been dented and scratched up. This is in really nice condition. We'll give it a good wipe down and wash it out with a hose once it's everything's been pulled out of it. But so that's, that's the deal guys. I'm just going to set you up somewhere. Like we're going to be doing this on my deck as you can see. I have a little bit more space up here at the moment because people are constantly picking up dryers because it's been raining for the last you know two or three weeks straight. I'm almost sold out. Well hey listen I've probably got another 20 but they'll probably only last another week. But um, for now I'm going to do this up here. I'm definitely not doing this in my cinema. Um, we're going to do it up here. I'll probably just set you up here or on this step ladder. Do a time lapse, bring you back at key points and see how we go. There we go. I probably should go and get myself an LED light, shouldn't I? Um, you guys can't really see too much, but um, yeah, it's just soaking wet inside. There's a lot of mud and silt. Let's have a look on the side here. Yeah, look at the base. Not good, not good at all. But um, other than that, it's in, I mean, yeah. Obviously, we're going to toss this motor out. Um, let's have a look at the idler. The idler's good. Nothing wrong with that. I'm um, just got a bit of. Oh no, that just wiped off. Thought that was rust. No, I reckon that's still pretty good. Let's get it in the sun. Although the little part, the little washer that is there, that normally goes there, that little um, nylon piece there, nylon washer, that's missing. It's probably still on the motor, on the peg. But um, I reckon we could probably use that, so let's hold that, because I'm actually <laughs> running really low on these things. I don't buy them brand new. They're cheap enough, but they are crap. You're better off getting yourself an original. In fact, let's have a look. Oh, no, it doesn't even have it there either. I don't know where it's gone. But um, yeah, so we're gonna pull all of that stuff out. And I am gonna take this to the front yard just out there. The bowl is in really nice condition. There's no signs of rust or anything on that. It's beautiful. We'll definitely be using this. We'll clean it up a little bit. Tump, that's all good. You can see here, look at the date. 24th of May, 2012. So it's a 10 year old dryer. And they said it was going great. They did want to get a bigger one because they wanted to do sheets as well as clothes at the same time, so they're happy with the one that I gave them. So yeah, let's keep going and see how it turns out.
take this out and wash this down. You can see the inner shroud, the old one. Um, I'm gonna dump that motor, dump that timer, as well as the door switch. I'll wash this out as well, but we won't use that. Like I said, we'll use this one over there. That's beautiful. But, um, okay, where am I gonna set you up? Damn it, I actually forgot I had to um, wash the lid as well as the bowl. And I thought I was doing it in front of the camera, but I didn't have it turned on. Oh well, it's all clean. This is the original bowl. There you go, 24th of, what was it? May, May 2012. And it's beautiful, so we'll be reusing that. I'll give that bit more of a clean, wipe it down inside. But um, everything's looking good, so put it back together with some new parts. I think we'll chuck this out, eh? Get rid of that. So look at this bearing. Oh, it's feeling pretty seized. We might be able to bring that back. Let's give that a shot. We'll try and bring that back. But, um, we'll have to chuck out that. Let's just start. I mean, this is probably still good. You could probably still use this, dry it out. This is the element. Um, I'm not, I've got dozens of them. You can see the terminals are just starting to rust a bit, but that's, I'm pretty sure you could use this, but um, I'm not going to, I'm gonna throw this away. Hey, listen, to be honest, that, bear, that bearing, I'm definitely gonna replace the bearing. I'm not going to all of this trouble and putting a bearing, that the original bearing back in. I do have heaps of bearings, like that's brand new, or may as well be. But let's just for, let's just uh, see if we can bring this back. I mean, that's totally seized. I mean, the little ball bearings in there have probably started to rust. Let's just give it a bit of a spray with some WD-40. I bring these back all the time. I might have to leave this um, soak for a little bit. It's starting to free up a little bit now. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to use this in the machine. I'll put a new one in. But um, it's always fun to try and bring them back. This one feels real. Oh no, there we go. There you go. Look at this. It's turning. Oh, it's turning because they said this machine worked really nicely. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. It's like a new one now. I mean, that is turning beautifully. There's no grit or anything. So I mean, I could use it. Oh, look at that, it's spinning beautifully.
you guys can't really see it spinning but it's spinning really nicely now it's like a brand new one um, should I use it? should I put it in? keep it a little bit original? nah listen what I'll do is I'll just put this aside keep it as a spare oh look at that it's just gliding yeah so if you just throw a bit of WD-40 there and just kind of it's when they're seized you can kind of sometimes you have to hold them with pliers on this side and really kind of move it around but uh, this one came back really nice so yeah what I might do is actually just put this aside and if I really need it at a later date I have no problem using this I think this is perfect but um, just for this video I'm gonna put this basic basically a new bearing in there yeah so let's stick that one in but, um, first of all I'm gonna wipe this back down I'm gonna clean that up for a start get this looking good we'll stick a new element in finish this video off Right, so there you go there's our back we have a new bearing we have a new heating element we have a new bit of ducting I'm gonna throw that bit of ducting because I couldn't be bothered cleaning it and I also cracked it when I was taking it off so mostly new parts that's the outer back cover this one here that's the outer back cover I'm gonna get rid of that I'll keep, I'll keep this one that's the one that goes underneath it that looks good but no one really wants to see dribble marks on an electrical appliance so looking good I'm going to go and grab that outer shell in the yard bring it up here and start putting it together with our new shroud uh, but first of all I'm going to go inside and make sure the fans nice and tight behind that motor put it all together
<laughs> there you go, it's finished. All done, and it's working like a champ. It's really, really cool. Everything's perfect. Um, guess what? <laughs> I forgot to put a part back. There's something that I forgot to put back into the machine. Obviously, it's not overly important or vital, but um, I'll have to go back and replace it. Look, I'll tell you what it is. Remember this part down here? That's the little bit of cushioning that goes between the bowl and the back of the machine. Um, I forgot to put that back. Well, I, wasn't, I was actually gonna replace that because that's soaking wet. I've got other ones. Um, I just forgot to put another one back in, but that's okay. I'll do that right now. But um, there you go. It's awesome. So what's the deal, guys? What can we say about this machine? In fact, let me turn this off. What can we say about this machine? So is this a machine that I restored <laughs> or is it a machine that I just created with, you know, different parts? You could probably say a bit of both, I reckon. But I'd like to say, I'd like to think that we restored the original one. Um, in fact, everything that you're looking at visually, everything apart from that um, vent cover there, um, everything is the original machine, basically is the original machine. That vent cover, the only reason I put that on is because I couldn't be bothered cleaning <laughs> the original one down here, you know, that one there. So, but yeah, and listen, if I really want to, I can replace it later after I put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> But um, yeah, but everything that you don't see in the machine, the guts of the machine, that's from other machines and good parts from other machines and that's why it's working so well. But um, I'm really happy, it looks so shiny. It looks so new and shiny. Yeah, I'd love to actually send the link to this video to the original owners and see what they thought. I reckon they'd be stoked. I reckon they'd think that was pretty cool. But um, there you go, I finished, I finished it, it's all done. I'm actually gonna quickly you know, face plan it now, take the back off, put that part back in that I forgot to put in, and um, you know, button her up, and then stick some wet washing in. But I'm not gonna bring you back, I'm not gonna say any more, but I'd just like to say thanks for watching guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. It has that little noise. I thought that noise, can you hear that noise? Hang on. I don't know what that is. I've never heard that noise before ever. So I'm gonna to have to fix that. You know, clockwise direction, it's fine. I don't know. Never heard it before. All right, I'm gonna to have to open her up again and, and investigate that. But um, that's all right. Um, I don't know, it sounds like something's getting, I don't know.
Yeah, can you hear that noise? I've never heard that before, ever. Sounds like there's something... <laughs> can you hear that? I can hear something around here. Okay, I'm gonna have to open it up again, shit. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'd have no problem using a dryer like that, but I can't expect other people to. So I have to um, do a little bit of investigating. Listen, I'm just gonna work it out and I'll tell you exactly what it is <laughs> at the end, because this could make my video go for too long otherwise. Shit. I don't know what that noise is. I mean, this bowl seems really good. Can't imagine the bowl is stuffed. I mean, sometimes these, you know, the axles are bent and that can do it. Kind of sounds like the spring when it's being pulled on tension, when the tension's being pulled on. Listen, I'm going to take a drastic move. I'm going to actually put another bowl in and see if there's any difference. It's got a new bowl, so we put a new bowl in. So far, so good. Let's see what happens when it stops and goes in the other direction. Okay. There you go, it's perfect. Okay, we fixed it. So that sound was the bowl. Wow. That's crazy. So that bowl there looks so much nicer than the bowl that I just stuck in. That's the original bowl and it was making a really strange sound every time it would, you know, 
change direction. Now, honestly, it had a bit of a ticking sound, and that does happen, but that happens normally when dryers get thrown off, you know, uh, trailers, and it, they've had a big thump, and what happens is this, you know, this axle, or whatever you want to call it, peg, um, this actually gets pushed and bent, and when it, yeah, it can make ticks, and it's easy enough to kind of find out where the high spot is and bend it back. I'm not going to throw this out, I'll keep this. But um, it's not doing it with that old, the, the other bowl that I just stuck in. So listen, that's all, <laughs> that's very quick troubleshooting. That was a very simple kind of fix, really. Oh man, that was gonna drive me nuts if I couldn't work that out. Everything else inside this machine looked really nice. I couldn't see any obstacles or obstructions or anything like that. So, okay, let's put this back together and stick some washing in so I can finish this video. Beautiful. Bloody ripper.